Ladies and gentlemen, this is bout four of the undercard here at Eternal MMA 56. Three by three minute rounds in the flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is trained by Steve Walton from the Wolves Den MMA gym with an official weight of 56 kilograms tonight. He makes his debut. Hailing from Darwin, Northern Territory, but residing in Perth, Western Australia, ladies and gentlemen, this is Ryan Jankowski. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He is trained by Happy Heskey from the Mac One Fight Club with an official weight of 57 kilograms. He has a record of one fight for one win. Hailing from Perth, Western Australia, ladies and gentlemen, this is Thomas, Tommy Gunn, Harrison. Diego Consoni is the referee for this one, and uh, this fight proudly brought to you by the Stay Fresh Project, who's also our ring girl sponsor. Uh, big shout out to Lauren and Holly doing a great job tonight. Of course, an interesting story about this one is the Stay Fresh Project was formed over the COVID lockdown, obviously to uh, help keep uh, the tattoo studio on the Gold Coast, make some money while they're not able to work. So let's get into this one. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Now look for Ryan Jankowski to throw some leg kicks early. That's beautiful. Just keep Tommy Harrison thinking. And like I said, Ryan Jankowski going on that kick. Oh, beautiful right hand by Jankowski. Shout out to the cage wrestling already. Ryan does know how to grapple. Do not get it twisted either. His brother Frank is an, is an immense grappler. And a lot of guys at Wolves down. He's been training for t since 2014. And like I said, out of Mac 1. So he knows how to grapple. Uh, he's just such a phenomenal Muay Thai striker. So he's going to want to try and break away. Tommy Harrison putting him up against the cage. Trying to tire him out. So those striking exchanges aren't as brutal. Drops to his knees there. Nice little plum there. Tankowski has to get that underhook back so he can turn it around. They're off the cage now. First minute has been like a battle for control. Yeah, we've seen that a lot tonight. A lot of, a lot of cage wrestling. He can't just have that over the, over the head. He's got sort of a overhook there and Tommy Harrison gets what he wants and gets him to the ground and Ryan Jankowski got a bit of a triangle. He's trying to set up a submission. There, but the arm is in, so that's not going to be effective. He passes straight to side control. Jankowski's right back up to his feet. Nice work by both guys. Ryan Jankowski's pretty hard to keep down once you do get him down. He's wiry and super explosive, and he knows that he wants to be on his feet. Nice pressure there. Get that head position. Tommy Harrison doing the right thing there. Trying to step around the leg, create space. Nice knee. Beautiful right hand. Getting Ryan on the way out. Nice work by Harrison. Nice head kick by Jankowski. Nice little trip there. What's he there? almost got it then, was Jankowski. Yeah, look, he's trying to dig that so he can get the cross face in, break away, get some space and get an underhook. But Tommy Harrison is too strong. Hip throws him to the ground. And now he's posturing up and looking to throw some bombs. Good pushing off the hips by Ryan there. That's exactly what you want to do. Create that space so you can stand up. And he's turn it into a single leg. Just want to try and get that, that head a little bit higher into the chest so he can turn it around or switch to a double leg. He's going back to the single leg. Tommy Harrison with the defense there. He's going to step over. He's really trying to look to pull those legs away. He keeps switching to a single leg. If he is going to a single leg, he needs to get his head on the other side so he can turn it around and get Tommy Harrison to the ground. Good scoop of the legs there. He's on gone his back way. to nice work. turning it into a double. It's like he's going to run out of time. Knee throw there. Good strength by Tommy Harrison. It's been one of those rounds where it's very tough to score. Both fighters had their moments, but it was a very nice tactical battle by both talented guys. Hope you're enjoying our coverage here. Brett Benetti here at Cage Side with Mitchell Tinley, my broadcast partner. Once again, we're having a great night, great day. <laughs> we were supposed to be here at night, Mitch. Yeah, it's uh, all out of whack. It's supposed to be yesterday. <laughs> It was, it's like sort of form of Groundhog Day, isn't it? <laughs> what better way would you want to spend a Valentine's Day? We're happy just as long as we're here. 
to be able to get this card up and running in the first place is, uh, is amazing. Good job by Eternal MMA. Ryan Jankowski, he's got to be careful there. Every time they break away, he's leaving that chin exposed a little bit. And Tommy Harrison, if he, if he catches that, does have the power uh, to really hurt uh, Ryan there. Nice takedown from Ryan. He's in a good position now. That's what he was looking for in round one, so he's able to get it early in round two, and he's had a bit of time to work, Mitch. Yeah, with that, uh, he, he, needs to, he needs to stay active. Probably needs to get this round back, and I think he knows that. So he's gone back to the wrestling. He can't just, uh, can't just be uh, negating Tommy's wrestling. He has to sort of create his own. He does want to stay active, though. He can't just hang in there. He does have to be able to, to throw some strikes. And Tommy Harrison did the right thing, trying to crawl back up against the cage, create some space, and uh, probably a bit too much space, though. He's gotten Ryan has found that space before Tommy did. He's got the, the lock on his legs and looking to drag him down. Harrison works He's given hard up his to get back. up. Both, uh... both hooks in uh, for... Ryan, then it's turned into a mount if Tommy wants to turn around, and it is, but with one arm over the head. Good work by in. Jankowski. Yeah, really, really composed Jankowski there. Uh, he's, he's, he's in full mount, but he's not, uh, he's not getting too carried away. He's taking his time, probably catching his breath a little bit. These grappling exchanges do make you tired, and look for him to posture up, get some space, and rain down some punches. You can't let Tommy Harrison sit up. Uh, you can hear the corner, Steve Walton, Wolves Den, Alden Bates, former titleweight contender, is uh, in the corner of Jankowski. And there's no better place you can I know, I was about to say that, right in front of his corner. To have this sort of position, and you've got your corner right in front of you, it's going to talk him all the way through it. Yeah, he wants him to sit up. Tommy is going to be turning. Every time he turns, Ooh. he's going to try and switch to the back. But every time Tommy's on his back, he's going to try and posture up, throw some strikes from the mount. Nice shot position. there by Jankowski. Oh, he's fallen back into a bit of a half guard now. Slipping, he's trying to slip straight back into a mount. Tommy Harrison's got to move. He's finding hard to keep that mount. Steps he's over. Regained it. And he wants to try and get those legs hooked under Tommy's legs so he can't move, switch around, and keep that pressure on. He's now got his back. Oh, oh there's an arm underneath How long the has chin. He got? Can he hold on? Jankowski he's slipping fighting right it. under the chin. He's going to be really careful there. Uh, Ten seconds oh, is a long wow. time. What it does, and it, it just sets us up he for just, a beautiful round three. He just tapped after the bell. Ready? Diego's ready. ready. We are ready. Let's go. Round three. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Great fight, this one. Tactical as well. Yeah, Jankowski found a lot of success in the wrestling. So it'd be interesting to see if he goes straight back to it or if he wants to mix up the strikes as well. Like I said, former state, white, state uh, championship contender in Muay Thai, so he, he can stay active on the feet. And uh, Tommy Harrison's got to want to look to, to put the pressure on that he did round one. Tried to in early parts of uh, round three. Both guys looking for their opening here. They're aware of each other's strengths now. After two rounds. Look at that. And here we go. He's left an opening, but well defended there by Harrison. Well, Jankowski's looking, looking really, really good. Mm. He, he stays nice and tall, but he can, he can drop down low on the levels if, if Harrison decides to try and shoot in. Harrison back with some own leg kicks. They did him some wonders against Blade Townsend back in uh, 2019 when he picked up that unanimous decision victory. Nice Ooh. body rip by Harrison. Very nice, and that uh, that height advantage is, is very evident when they. Like I said, he's uh, he's picked up the state novice boxing titles at 60 kilograms uh, a couple of years ago, so he, he can throw hands. Uh, nice there, a bit of a stiff jab by by Ryan, caught him coming in, and they nice actually have there by Harrison. They actually have the same uh, reach advantage as well. Yeah, that's what I was say. The height nice. is uh, is evident, but not so much the reach. Nice. Harrison's starting to find some, some comfortability with his hands there. He's staying moving. He's got to let his hands go, though. He's really trying to load up that right hand straight down the middle uh, to Jankowski. Jankowski's still staying nice and tight with the Muay Thai distance. They're trying to go to each other. Harrison is trying to come over the top, too. Every time. Oh. 
Every time Jankowski seems to sort of lean back a bit. Thought Jankowski might have been hurt then, but it might have been just a little slip. He's got a bit of a, like every time he steps back, he kind of lifts his chin a little bit. And I think Tommy Harrison's really, really looking for it. He's almost overcommitting to try and find it. He's a bit careful in himself. I think Harrison's lift his work rate, especially round two after, uh, sorry, this is nice third round. body rip by Harrison. Nice leg kick. Yeah, he's starting to find home on, on his feet, and I think Harrison likes this. Jankowski needs to get it to the ground again. He really does. It's been three completely different rounds. Uh, that's what you want to see in an MMA bout. But who can put it together? Nice inside leg kick followed up by the left by Harrison. He's only got 20 seconds to work, so it's been a great round by Harrison. Body rip again. Jankowski has to put more offense together. Wow. Oh, nice right over the top of the right hand. Kick. 10 seconds to go. Jankowski got to look for the takedown so he can hopefully steal the round from the judges. I think Harrison might have picked this one mm. up. I agree. Yeah. His, uh, it's been one of those fights. I want to see another couple of rounds out of these yeah. guys. It was a very entertaining fight. Yeah, excellent job by, uh, by, by both the boys. You saw... Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, bout four of the afternoon here at Eternal MMA 56. After three rounds of action, we turn to the judges for their decision. Judge one scored this bout 29-28. Judge two scored this bout 29-28. Judge three scored this bout 29-28. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by unanimous points decision, the red corner, Thomas Harrison. I'm here with your winner, Tommy Harrison. Two in a row, how does it feel? Feels fucking good, man. I've been waiting for this for about a year and a half. Fucking missed the last about like, three Eternals. So it feels fucking good to be back in here, man. Now, you had a bit of trouble in the second round. What did they say in your corner to turn it around the third? They said, just stand up and bang. You're going to win there. I recognised I was a bit tired, so just fucking went for it. Yeah, you got amazing boxing. Tell us what it was like to be inside with a guy that is a Muay Thai fighter himself and to have your boxing flourish. Uh, he surprised me in that second round with that takedown, to be honest, and it was really hard to get off, but... I fucking dug in deep and won that third round, so. How did it feel to go against Wolves Den, Mac One? A lot of you guys used to train together. That's probably one of the first times we've seen that. How did it feel? Uh, it feels fucking good to get the win, but no, I love them guys, and yeah, it was awesome, man. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Tommy Harrison.